you are welcome to my channel we want to solve another problem in geometrical construction where we are told that construct a triangle abc on ab as base with ab 70 millimeter ac 57 millimeter bc 76 millimeter and draw the circumscribing circle just like the previous question where we are told to what to inscribe a circle if you've not gotten in touch with it you can click on this link to learn on how to inscribe a circle in a triangle now in this case the first thing we'll do is uh, we have to draw the triangle first right so you'll be learning how to draw a triangle and the other thing you'll be doing is to put the circle around the triangle right you circumscribe the circle so the first thing here we want to draw is our triangle like i said in the previous question a triangle is a plane figure that is bounded by what by three straight line this is a b with that call a b the base and this is point c that is what the other part of the um, triangle so the first thing we'll do is to draw a b and we're giving a b to be what 70 millimeter so I'm going to draw a line this way, faint line first of all, right? And I'll pick a point on that line. Let's see, I'm picking this point here. I'll call that point A. Then from that point, I'm going to measure B, which is 70 millimeter away from A. So this is A, and this is what? This is B, 70 millimeter. So that is B there. So I'm going to thicken it. As the base of what of the triangle so that is my a b now the next thing there is to get um a c this is a and c somewhere around here so i'll measure a c which is what 57 millimeter right so i'll measure a c which is 57 millimeter this way AC, this is 0, right? This is 50, and this is 55, then this is 57 here. You can see that? And I'll place it at A, since we're talking about AC, then C is somewhere around this arc here. C is lying somewhere around this arc. Now, the next thing we're told is BC, which is 76. So B and c b is somewhere around c so i'm going to measure 76 on my meter rule this way this is 76 here 75 76 right and i'll place it at b this way and i'll strike another arc so where the arc intersects the previous arc that will give me my point what point c so I'll draw a line connecting A to C, A to C, A to what, to C, then B to C. So I've successfully constructed the triangle, right? Now the next thing we'll do the difference between inscribing and circumscribing is that in inscribing we are bisecting two angles, two of any of the three angles. While in circumscribing we are bisecting two of any of the three sides. We have three sides here. A B is a side, A C is a side, and B C is a side. So any of the the um the two sides of the triangle we are going to bisect them. If you don't really know how to bisect, you can also click on this link to learn how to bisect a line. So we're going to bisect line AC. So how will you do that? Now, I'll place my compass at this point A here to what? To C. I'm bisecting AC now. Right? And I'm going to strike an arc this way. At the right hand side at the left hand side and also at the right hand side you can see that with the same radius i'll place it at c 
I will inter draw an arc that will intersect the first arc and I will draw in the other side too that will intersect the other arc. So where they meet, I will call it to be D, right? And I will call it to be E. So I'm going to join point D, E together this way. I will join point D, E together this way. You can see that? That is, I have bisected AC. This is how you bisect, right? I can choose the other, I can choose any of these two now. I can say I want to add AB or BC. But I would like to be taking BC. Is that taken? So I'll place my compass also at point B to C this way. I'll strike an arc at the left hand side here. You can see that? I'll also strike an arc at the right hand side here. I'll place it here at this point. I'll draw an arc that is going to cut this other side here. So where it cuts it, I'll call it point F. This is F. And I'll do the other side also where it cuts this. I'm going to call it point G. Point what? Point G. So let me show you point G. That is the point G that we have there. Is that okay? So where they meet, G and also what? And F. And I'm going to take my meter rule and connect point F and G together. You can see? So where they meet here, I'll call it point P. So that point of intersection is point P. So that will be the point at which I can draw my circumscribing circle so i'm going to take my compass i'll place it at p right take it at any of the apex points any of the points here that point a b or c any of them then i'm going to gauge ensure that it is touching the three points of the the um, triangle is that again so you gauge them and see it is touching the three points and you just draw so this is what I'm doing is called the circumscribing circle. You can see that. So the key word here is the circle must touch the three points of the triangle. Just like in inscribing, the circle is touching the three sides of the triangle. In circumscribing, the circle is touching the three points of what of the triangle. So you do the same thing you did the other time, you are going to do your lettering. If you don't know how to do lettering, if you don't know how to write your A, B, C or 1, 2, 3 in engineering, you can just click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here and it will tell you how to do that. So you'll be having something like this. So this is what you'll be having on your lettering. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thanks for watching.